Hey guys, ever since the launch of Fenty Beauty, I have been eyeing their products and I'm so excited to try out the entire range for you today. So if you are a lover of makeup and you're interested or intrigued to know my thoughts about this new launch by Rihanna, keep on watching. I'm Evelina Demori, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you what products I'm actually using today so you can see if it's the kind of video that you want to stick around and watch or not. In brushes today, we'll be going over the foundation brush, the setting brush, the highlight and the bronzer slash contour brush. The Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 150 and the matching foundation, also in shade 150. We have the concealer brush, the Pro Filter Setting Powder in Butter, Shady Business Bronzer, the Cinnamon Shimmer Stick, the Pro Filter Eye Primer, the Adorable Kabuki Brush, three of the Metallic to Glitter Eyeliners, the Diamond Bomb All Over Body Highlight, the Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored, and no complete brand review would be complete without an eyeshadow palette, so I selected Moroccan Spice. I've basically got the entire collection, which I'm so excited about, which came from this massive box. It's so large, I can't even fit it on the screen. So if you're looking for a video that goes over the entire collection without having to watch several little videos, this is the one for you. So let's get to it. Okay, I've got everything laid out in order of use so I don't forget to use anything. I'm gonna unpack the full body foundation brush. God, they just look so gorgeous. Do I need more brushes? No. Oh damn, that's soft. So the one I've been using is the Kat Von D foundation brush. I just, I love that as well. I mean, that's probably why I liked this one because they are very similar. Very similar indeed, but they are different shapes when you put them sideways. Yeah, I don't know if that's just because it's got concealer in it, but so far this feels softer. Luckily, I just checked the box because I left two things in there. I'm like, we don't start with foundation, we start with primer. <laughs> okay, so that's the box. The packaging looks very nice. I love the frosted glass look. That is a close-up of the Instant Retouch Primer. I don't really bother too much with my forehead because obviously it's covered by my fringe so like what is the point? Not much. This feels thin like it might make the makeup last longer which is its main purpose so that's cool. But I'm not really sure if that's going to give me a porcelain like finish just due to the fact that it went on more like a moisturizer than a primer but that's okay. It has a nice scent to it. I'm fucking terrible at that. If I know the scent I can tell you what it is but when I don't know I could I'm getting kind of baby powder from that. I don't know. It's nice. It's lovely. It doesn't offend me. Boom. So we are primed. Onto the foundation. I hope I chose the right shade. I chose the shade 150. If you were wondering, in Kat Von D, I am L44 neutral. Hopefully that will help you out if you are trying to compare shades. So again, this is in a frosted glass. So I'm going to put one. Let's just start with two. I don't know how much of this we will need. And I better break open that foundation brush. Which we already did, so yeah, we're ready to go. I think I nailed the color match. Oh, that's looking pretty neat. And this brush is so soft. I feel like I'm really rushing because I'm always rushing. The kids are always making me late for things and making me rush, but they're not here, so I can just calm the fuck down, okay? So this is supposed to be buildable and a medium to complete coverage. A new brush always soaks up more foundation as well, so can't really judge it on first use. I mean, I know this is an impression video and I'm saying, wow, it takes up a lot of product, but of course it does. It's brand fucking new. When it gets coated, it will use less. So anyone that just like says, oh, it took like five pumps to do your face. It's like, well, did you take into consideration that you're using a brand new brush? And if the answer is no, then you're a fucking idiot. Jokes. So that's pretty much how far up I go on my forehead. Again, there's no point. I'm liking that. Like I can just go out like that. It is a medium to full cover and I like that. I haven't really been into James Charles but I did catch one of his videos where it was like his daily routine and he mentioned something that he does if he just wants a really quick coverage of foundation so we don't look haggard. <laughs> um, and that is to mix your foundation in with moisturizer like half half and I'm like that is fucking brilliant and I tried it the other day and it just gave me this beautiful natural kind of glow but it took away any kind of discrepancies in my skin and redness and it was really good. This one is going on kind of like I've already done that like apparently it is buildable like I said. I'm not going to put on more than one because I've been blessed with fairly okay skin. I don't have acne or any scars or anything like that that I need to hide or any redness or under eye bags. I am going to go in with the Kabuki brush just because I fucking got it. Why not? Isn't that cute as? 
<laughs> the last one I bought when I was like 16, honestly, so it was time for a replacement. I mean, I did wash it quite a few times, probably twice really, <laughs> if I'm keeping it real. <laughs> so this was 50 Australian dollars. It feels lovely in the hand and it is taking away any fine lines that the foundation brush left, which is its entire purpose. So at this point, I would say that's already looking pretty airbrushed. I am impressed. Next is concealer. Now I got two because I didn't quite trust their matching system, which was if you're the shade 150, the concealer you should get is also 150 and it will be a little bit lighter. These people are fucking smart and they've already matched it for you. Just that slightly lighter shade to give you that highlighting effect that you wanted. But I also got 120 just in case it wasn't light enough so I could pop a few places. I think for the purpose of this video, I might just use 150 so we can actually try out is the matching concealer to the matching foundation light enough or should you also go up another shade i know jacqueline hill says she goes up like two or three shades get the fuck out of the box come out we have success Ooh, there's a concealer brush as well so let's open this bad boy up precision concealer brush used to conceal and set areas such as under eyes the inner corners and around the nose sounds about right so that is a super cute brush it is little, it is shiny, it is. They've done like a matte pink, that's really nice. It is so soft. So I'm going in again with the shade 150. This is the shade that matches the foundation. I always get a bit of redness around my nose, so I'm gonna cover that up. Normally I would also put concealer and not set it and use that as my eye primer, but I actually have here the eye primer to try out, so I'm gonna do that today. Yeah, I mean, that's that's bright in that area. Would I need to go lighter? I mean, only if I stayed up till 4 a.m. and partying really hard, which, <laughs> when does that ever happen once you have kids? Never is the answer. Never! Yeah, well, that's a little lighter than I was expecting it to be. Okay, it's also not setting like crazy quickly, so I do have time to blend it in. Okay, well, that has definitely added a lot of dimensions to the face. I'm really impressed with that. I'm not even sure if I would need that lighter shade, which is terrific. Which, I mean, is the whole point of using concealer these days, right? Adding dimension to the face. Fucking choker. Okay, next we are on to setting powder. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. So that is the box, as we've already seen. Let's open her up, and I got the shade Butter, because the lavender one, in some of the videos that I saw, it was going on a little blue, and I'm like, mm. So this packaging is just very, very pretty, and it's big. It's just a lovely shape. In the side of the box, they also had that little thing that you can put on top to stop the shit falling out, which we need. We totally need, so I'm so glad they included that. And it also has this little protective cover there. Who else loves ripping these off? Are you ready? Mmm, that has a nice smell. I don't know if I'm gonna say vanilla -y because everyone does vanilla, but it's vanilla and something. So we're going to tap a little bit out. Okay, that should be enough. <laughs> now we're gonna bake. And I don't mean cookies. Powder puffed setting brush. Let's open her up. I don't think I've ever been as excited about a new brand until now. At first, I'm just gonna get the eyeshadow palette. I'm like, I should get the foundation as well. Do I need it? No. I'm like, well, if you're gonna get the foundation, you should get the concealer. And then, you know, just the rest is history. <laughs> now we have the entire collection. But I, hello, how are you? I'm really happy with what I'm seeing so far. I mean, that has creased a little bit, but you know, we haven't said it yet. I've been talking away. All you have to do is go in there and read buff that shit out. Taking a page out of John McLean's book until you look seamless. <laughs> I fucking love that guy. I only recently discovered him. So I've been binge watching a lot of his videos. And one that I love is the parody that, I can't remember the, the comedian's name, but it was on point. It was so good. So if you're a fan of John McLean, go and search on YouTube, John McLean parody and we're definitely in for a treat. I'm going to set this, but I'm not going to do where I'm going to contour and all that shit. Um, I'm going to attempt bronzing. I don't know much about bronzing, so we'll just fucking wing it. This brush seems a little big. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender underneath the eyes. I'm just, I'll do here. Ah, oh, it smells delicious. Fuck, I could not be on one of those shows where it's like, pick the scent. What does that smell? Big juicy cock. <laughs> Uh, that's not that's not a scent that I would automatically recognize just <laughs> to clarify. It's from a movie. It's like 
called like the congregation or sobriety or one of those like funny university type like movies that's just hilarious okay so i'm going to go in with a beauty blender under my eyeballs <laughs> are the girls looking wonderful today <laughs> you gotta have fun you gotta have fun okay we're back i've got my beauty blender i'm dipping it the fuck into that setting powder and we're going to dab it on i'd like to say lightly but it's not lightly <laughs> We're gonna go to town and I'm kind of following the shape of my face because like it would be <laughs> fucking stupid not to. Oh, it smells delicious. Just like Jeffree Star's one that has a very unique scent that is just absolutely lovely. This is the same. I'm so glad they put a scent in it. It's so boring to have no scent. You know me. Oh wow, I'm looking like an alien. I love my scents and I have a lot of scent videos coming up. I'm doing some very exciting collaborations with two companies that do diffuser oils and candles and the other one does very interesting almost specifically gothic wax melts and they're going to do one that i created like a collaborative wax melt the setting brush is all right i would probably use this you know after baking to like wipe off everything gently i just find that it's the bristles are too long it's not firm enough to actually apply the setting powder like where you want it it's just it's not defined enough i'm loving setting my face with this but a new trick i've been doing as well seeing i'm getting really into baking i prefer this kind of baking because you can't actually burn shit like when i want to get into the proper baking i just burn everything and it's so heartbreaking I know we're trying to be gothic and everything, but black food is just too fucking much. I draw the line. Speaking about drawing lines, I will now draw a line here under my non-existent cheekbones. We have to give the illusion that there fucking actually is one. <laughs> and I'm just going to carve that out, which I could not do with this brush. That's not precise and it doesn't have the right angle. So I'm going to put as much product as I can on this brush and do that. Try not to wipe away any product. Okay, I'm going to go in a slightly unconventional order, but fucking who cares? You know, there's no rules with makeup and that's what makes makeup so unique and individual. I was just saying to myself, my lips need a little bit of a lip scrub because life happens. And here we are with the Jeffree Star one. Isn't that fantastic? Finally, the universe removed cock from ours. <laughs> I can't take credit for that fucking wonderful line. That's from Spartacus. Or it could be Rome. Probably Spartacus. Or is it finally the gods remove cock from us? One of them. Now I selected a really bold lip. You know me, I love my red lips. And this is called the Stunner Lip Paint. I had a little sneaky peek at the bottle already and it is fucking huge. So it's the only red that they have. It's called Uncensored. The bottle, the component, is that what we call these fucking things? Is absolutely massive. Like ginormous beautiful like i was saying on instagram how many of these can you actually fit in your handbag like we're gonna need to increase the size of our handbags and makeup bags to fit this shit in to give you a comparison here is what i consider to be a normal component for a lip and look at the width difference she is massive this applicator is like a mini butt plug it's got like you know you put it in then it's got the other little ball <laughs> i don't think that's what they were going for but that's the first thing that comes to my mind i get it it's kind of round like the shape of your lips that is a stunning red wow one application completely opaque steel is definitely going to want to paint his fire engine with this i'm going to have to hide it Okay, I am absolutely in love with that shade of red. It reminds me of the old Lime Crime formula. It went on so solidly. It's thin, but not too thin. I have mentioned a few times that I feel like Lime Crime have made their formula too liquidy and it's just hard to get on. It's no longer opaque. You need to put two or three layers on and then it's hard to completely get the same shape twice. Well, at least for me it is. So the applicator was very different. I think there is a lot of theory and thought gone behind the shape of it and I'm not saying it's no good it's more that I need to get used to that different shape I'm thinking that looks very pretty now this is not a eyebrow tutorial and as Fenty Beauty don't have any eyebrow products just yet I'm going to turn off the camera and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow products and we'll be right back okay I am back I've just had lunch so the lipstick is still on and looking pretty damn good after like a sandwich and cup of tea okay so i've had this on for way too long so i'm just going to use that same brush and get rid of that excess powder this brush for that purpose is fantastic so i don't know about you but i'm thinking that's looking pretty damn good 
What do you think? All right, so I'm excited to start the eyes. Just before we do, let's have a look at this bad boy. Oh, this is the Lil Bronzer Duo Mini Bronzer Set, which has an instant warmth bronzer. Hmm, I don't know if we want warmth. And the Shimmer Skin Crayon Eliminator. So there we have the box. I'm actually not too sure how to use bronzers. I think they're in replace of blush. So to go along with the bronzer and contour, we have the cheek hugging bronzer brush. Let's get this bad boy out. What I like about these brushes, again, it seems like a lot of thought has gone into this, is their shape. Now you'd have to think that that would be quite universal, like everybody's depth of their cheekbones is different. So I'm wondering if this will suit everyone's face shape. Oh my god, it's so soft. So we're going here. I put it at an angle. Can you see the shape of that? It's supposed to be contoured like the cheekbone. Double sided, of course. Yeah, I can see how that would work. And there's another one that's shaped like that for the highlight, so we'll get to that in a second. I actually think I bought the wrong highlight. I think I bought like an all over body shimmer rather than highlight. I did do a little test and it's very, like you can see, fine fragments of glitter. So I think I'll go in with my Jeffree Star one just because. But seeing we've got some exposed collarbones happening here today, I'll probably spruce them up a little bit. Instant warmth bronzer in the shade Shady Biz, so that is just gorgeous. So for contour, I've been using Milk Makeup in the shade Baked. Now this seems to be a lot darker. You can see it's a lot warmer, but we're gonna give it a whirl to see how that goes. Oh, that is just gorgeous in the little compact mirror. That is so fucking cute. So I've got quite a lot of that on the brush. Whoa, one swipe. I like how you can use the tip of the brush to, you know, get a little bit more pointy there if you want. To give the illusion of cheekbones. Okay. I'm kind of loving this brush. That's terrific. So let's go in again for the other side. Can you all see that? Get it going. A bit more. So it's very buildable, I like that. I think that side's perfect. Okay, I think I went a bit too crazy. Let's just buff that out a bit. I changed my lighting. I got one comment which really upset me, which was like, your lights are too bright. And I had a little feeling that they were a little too bright. So I've really messed with the settings this time. Um, so hopefully you guys are actually seeing the contours of my face. That is fucking lovely. That brush really was fantastic. Like I said, I'm not an expert in contouring, but that kind of made me feel like I was. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do with the bronzer. I'm going to guess that it's going to be up a little higher because of the shimmer and like hopefully we'll fade it into the highlight. I don't know, let's just try it. This is the shade Cinnamon, but S-I-N instead of C. I'm gonna go very lightly because I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, it would have been good if I did that evenly. So right now we look ridiculous. But I'm just gonna try to use the same one and buff it out. Have I put too much on? I'm just gonna go in with the foundation brush and buff that out a bit more. What are we thinking? I mean, I can see it. My whole problem with my lighting before was that it was too bright and there was no definition in my face. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's fix up this hair. Oh, this packaging. So this is Diamond Bomb, which again, I'm not going to put on my face because it does say all over Diamond Veil. So whoops. How many carrots is the shade that I selected? Oh my God, it's so fucking beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Damn. I think I'll, I'll try it on my chest first. Like I said, I'm going to get out the highlight brush, which is this little doodad here. So far, those angled brushes I'm really liking. So this is basically like a mini version of the contour or bronzer. People with um, small cheekbones or non-existent cheekbones, <laughs> this would be very good. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go in with this product on my chest area first. Holy mackerel. Can you see that? It's 
bring those curls out a bit. <laughs> okay, so is that suitable for the face? I'm gonna go with no because it's, it is coming off like a glitter. It's beautiful. But I think I would more use that in photo shoots just to bring out certain features. It's kind of just dispersing everywhere. It's okay. Yeah, I should have gone with the highlighter. I well, already have the perfect highlighter, which is the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. It's not snow white, it's not blue, it's still kind of got that creamy vanilla-y colour to it, but it works really well with my skin. And if I recall correctly, the lightest highlighter shade in the range for Fenty Beauty currently seemed a little dark for me. That's why I went with that one, but I must have misread it. I thought it was a new type of highlighter, not a oh, upper body. Okay, so we're going to take the Jeffree Star one and I'm going to use the Fenty Highlight Brush. Whoa. Okay, so that's all we need. I do regret not getting the right fancy one, but that's okay. I'm just going to go in with the fancy setting brush and just wipe that away a little bit. I'm actually going to use the beauty blender. Blot that out a bit because I think I got a bit excited. If you are wondering, the Jeffree Star highlight goes spectacularly with the Fenty Beauty products. All right, shall we move on to eyes? The next fun thing we have is the amplifying eye primer. I got in Busy Pink. I think there's only one shade in this. Hello. <laughs> I wish the lid was chrome or something like that. You know, the baby rose gold chrome to match the brushes because I love shit that matches. Like they did that with the setting powder and the brushes, they match. So I selected Moroccan Spice and I know what you're all thinking. Does Avelina really need another palette? The answer is no, we don't. We're, I don't need another palette. We do. Because, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a struggle inside my head. Some say yes, some say no. But we're going to try it because... It wouldn't be a Fenty complete review, like I've stated in the video, if we weren't to try everything. That's lovely. Let's take a look inside. Now what colors to select? Holy moly. Isn't that beautiful? So I don't have any of the eyeshadow brushes. I've got enough of them. I really did want to try their face brushes. So I'm just going to use the ones that I already have. And when I put this on, I'm going to buff it in carefully with the concealer brush. Look at it. Okay, my eyelids are now moist. Let's buff this in. Okay, so that is blending in just magically. Back too soon. It seemed to upset the foundation a little, little, little bit, but I might be rubbing too hard with this brush. Okay, so now we have a tacky layer for the eyeshadow to adhere to, which is super important. If you don't use primer, you totally should. Let's do a little experiment. So I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here, and then I'm not going to put it <laughs> beside the spot I put it. I'm going to use that same concealer brush and just blend that in so I know it's on my skin. So I've got the eye primer there and nothing there. And what I'm going to do is put my finger into, oh, that most beautiful blue shade. Okay, so that's on my finger. I'm going to put it where the primer is. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'll use a different finger just so it doesn't have any primer on it. And I'm going to put it here. Huge difference. So this one looks opaque and that one kind of looks meh, like she's having a bad day. Primers enhance the vibrancies of the colors, or should I say the pigments of the eyeshadows. Back when I was 16, I remember like not many companies had eyeshadow primer. Like there's the Primer Pot from MAC, which was the first one that I bought. And then when I went to America, I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow potion because everybody started to rave about that and I still use it, I still love it. But it's like every brand now has one of those, which is great. It's good to have um, variety. Oh, I'm so tempted to go into the blue. So we also have these gorgeous little, what are they? Metallic to glitter liquid eyeliners. Now I don't know what shade I'm going to use. I have three of them. Alien Bay, Later Crater, and Neptune. So one's basically a blue, one's basically a green, and the other one's like a creamy vanilla-y custody type color. So I'm gonna go with one of the more dramatics because there's a blue in here. I might go with blue, but I'm so dying to try the green. Oh. So I'm going to start backwards and I'm going to do the highlight shade first. And I'm using this top shade, which is called Moroccan Ice. <laughs> I like that play with words there. Okay, it's got like a baby pink metallic vibe to it. Now I'm going to go in with the same brush, which is just like a blending brush really. And I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes. And I'm doing like a triangle shape. Bit under, bit on top, bit under, bit on top. 
I always find that I put too much darkness in there. And if you have small like almond eyes like myself, I just find it important to do everything backwards so I don't initial sentence lose the um, openness of my eyes. So I think I'm going to do blue, that blue on my eyelids, which is Evil Genie. Oh, I love that name. And for the crease, I'll use the darker blue, which is Soak It To Me, <laughs> Sock It To Me. And then also gray, Stisha Smoke. So we're just using these three colors here. The lighter blue, the darker blue, and I'll also use a bit of the gray. Okay, let's get a packing brush. Yeah, this will do. So I'm going to tell you about these brushes in a upcoming review. They are like $5, they're super cheap, they're vegan, they're made in Australia. You can get them at Glamour Empire Cosmetics, of which I am an ambassador. Just super cool. I will do a video. I think I actually, I will talk about that in my upcoming video, which is the Model Rock Lip Swatch. I'm so excited for this channel because I wanted to push it more into makeup because I buy a lot of it, I get sent a lot of it. It just makes sense and I'm really passionate about it. it. It calms me. It's like my happy place. So let's do it. But I've never done a lip swatch before. I guess I've never had enough of one brand to be able to do it. So now I do and yeah. So that's the yellow video. Watch out for the yellow background. So a packing brush is basically a short, compacted brush. It's kind of rounded, so when you lift up the shadow, you can get a lot on and then really press it into the eyelid and make sure that motherfucker's gonna stay. So we're going into Evil Genie. Hopefully my primer is still tacky because we've been talking for a long time. Oh, hello. She's blue. I like to tip the brush upside down like this and come from above and that really helps get the bottom off <sighs> the fucking eyeball holder <laughs> but that's not the right word the eyelid there we go so she looks a bit ridiculous but have faith <laughs> okay now we're going into that darker color suck it to me oh wow okay yeah, that's pigmented. Elongate my eye because that is what works for my eye. Already that's like opening my eyes up. That's what we need. Packing that into the crease. And then I'll go under the eye a little bit to get the illusion that they are bigger than they are. I've been really enjoying lining my bottom waterline with white as well. A little trick I've been absolutely loving with a girl called Acid Doll on Instagram. If you don't follow that beauty, go and add her. I always take my time when I'm doing this. I will probably <laughs> fast forward through a lot of this. There is a significant amount of concentration involved and of course the end result is complete symmetry. And of course <laughs> we have a complete lack of symmetry. <sighs> okay, I am going to go in with some Jeffree Star highlighter. Just to put on the brow bone there. Again, the color I'm using is Ice Cold. It seems to be just perfect for my skin. And because I'm just a silly bitch, I forgot to put all of the color underneath my eyes. So let's do that now. Going in with Evil Genie again. So that under eye has set beautifully. The shadow is not going anywhere unless I want it to, which is fantastic. And that is why I baked the fuck out of my under eye. Because when you want to put really vibrant colors under your eyeball, <laughs> That is the technique you should be using. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow with the Moroccan Spice palette. I'll be right back. I'm going to stick some lashes on and then I'm going to use this metallic to glitter eyeliner. I did it on my hand on an IG story and I was blown away. I don't quite get how I'm supposed to do it with my nails and like just rub the thin line of the liner to get the glitter to come out, but we'll give it a good try. I swear to God, the universe does not want me to finish this video. I just had technical errors and I swear to God, I bumped my red lipstick and I didn't realize it and I poked it here and here and here and I just had to touch up pretty much my entire fucking face. So if you see some little weird red dots, that's what it is. Okay, holla fucking Luya, we are up to the last step, then we're gonna set this face, do some close-ups, and film the intro. It's so weird in YouTube videos, in makeup ones anyway. I like to do the intro full of makeup. So you can kind of see if you want to watch the video. If you don't like the look of the makeup, then why would you continue watching? But it's funny that I have to do the intro last, because it comes first, obviously. Okay, where is this little beautiful packet? So we have the shade Alien Bay, so this is that blue glitter. I don't know why there's that weird 
hole. That's pretty much like a paintbrush tip. I don't know if I can get precision out of this. But if I can't, never fear, because I also have the beautiful, like possibly the most beautiful, they call it a fly liner, long liquid eyeliner. Look at that, rose gold. And it's this insane like triangle shape. Can you see that? It's really comfortable to hold. It looks like a really high-end pen, serious pen. Okay, so we're going to try to apply this and see what happens. It's a little hard to work with. It feels like the eyeliners that you used to buy when you're 16 before, before they came up with all these fancy precision tips. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for just a little second and then I will come up close and let's see if it transforms to glitter. You looking? Ooh, totally did. So now it's blue metallic. I'm not gonna go in anymore because I don't want to fuck up my makeup. Let's do the other eye. So that is plain black at the moment. Rub it and it changes to glitter. So do we need that? Not really. Is it a nice little effect? Yes. Am I gonna be running to that? No. Oh, I'm so upset that we kind of ended on a downer. Let me just spray my face with some setting spray. Today we're using Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics. Think of this as hairspray for your makeup. And you just wanna put a little bit on, just a little bit. <laughs> I like using the fan because I can feel when it's set. But when I just used to wait there like a fucking idiot, <laughs> I was like, is it dry yet? Is it dry yet? Is it dry yet? Now I can fucking feel it's dry. The, the, you know, the temperature changes. So we are set that makeup is not going anywhere. Am I happy with the result? Yes. All right, guys, that's the end of my first really in-depth makeup video. So let me know if you've enjoyed this video. I do have more coming up because like I said, I want to push my channel more into makeup. It's something that I absolutely adore. So I'm like, why the fuck not? The next one online will be the Marc Jacobs products that I need to review. And then I've also got this lovely, Big ass box from Wet n Wild. It's some limited edition like rose collection. Super excited about that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you loved this video. I sure enjoyed making it. I've got to rush and make dinner now before the kids and Vaughn get home. Please put a like on this video. Comment down below. I always read every comment. It's getting harder and harder to reply to every comment, but I do appreciate and read them. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We're heading towards 15,000, which is insane. And can we take a moment to talk about Instagram? 24.9 <laughs> definitely by the time this video is up we will be on 25,000. that's a milestone for me i'm heaps excited and just before i go if you're wondering this awesome ring set is from doll's kill it was like seven dollars 99 people it's really nice <laughs> they're all adjustable which i think you know for the price is completely fine and then that will fit everyone so you don't have to bother with sizes anyway i will see you guys in the next video bye for now